Hi guys, uh, William here from the Adelaide Hill Pain Clinic. Hey guys, John here. So, um, one question that we get um, asked quite often is, um, who's it best to see for your heel and Achilles pain? Um, is it a physio? Is it your GP, a podiatrist, the foot and ankle guy? Um, there's other people, you know, there's... Um, hey Josh. <laughs> there's chiros, acupuncturists, massage therapists. So, um, John, do you want to go through some of the professions and uh, just talk about um, what they're strong at? Yeah, so obviously it is a question we get asked uh, quite often here. And the thing with heel pain, it is quite multifactorial. So there's thousands of really reasons why you really can get the condition initially. Uh, but for example, you know, we, we do work amongst uh, physios. Um, we do have an exercise physiologist and obviously we're podiatrists here. So um, if, it, if it's in regards to more load issues, so maybe returning back to running, um, if you think you've done a little bit too much too soon, maybe you want to perfect the way you're doing certain techniques regarding exercise, Obviously, the physios and exercise physiologists uh, are obviously really good at that sort of stuff as well. Um, exercise physiologists generally don't really diagnose as such, so uh, that's why you probably see that your podiatrist or physio prior get that diagnosis and then probably re be referred over to the exercise physiologist. Um, yeah, I would probably say that the exercise physi physiologists or what they're called EPs are actually um, stronger and speaking to a lot of physios, they actually say that the EPs are actually better at prescribing exercises than they are. But physios are really good at other stuff, aren't they? Yeah, so they're really good at adjunct therapies, manual therapies as well. So they do diagnose, um, obviously. Um, really good at your dry needling. Uh, they do do some shockwave therapy as well. You know, your dry needling, so I just mentioned that. Um, gate retraining, getting you back to sport, giving you a customised, you know, uh, prescription, returning back to sport and through And exercise. they're good with um, manual therapy or massage, as you know. But yeah. then you could argue that, and I would actually argue that, a remedial massage therapist with a proper um, two-year degree is better at that sort of massage work than a physio. So you can see everyone has their little niche. Um, what's another one? Uh, podiatrist, so yeah, John. No, uh, with podiatrist, yeah, so yeah. basically with- Us guys. Us yes, guys, yeah. Um, so yeah, we, we, we target, try to become the middleman between everyone. Um, so in terms of, if it's something that's coming from the foot, obviously if it's more of a biomechanical issue, more joint specific, if we find that it's more a, a particular joint or muscle we find can become tight, uh, we can do things like dry needling, um, if it's something that's required to reduce some tough, soft tissue work, something like an orthotic can work quite well. So, yeah, anything else? Yeah, so, you know, um, uh, hey, you know, hey, Sean, uh, dry needling, um, you know, you could argue that an acupuncturist might be better than um, a physio or podiatrist at it. So, again, everyone has their own things. Where podiatrists would probably hang their hat on is the biomechanical side of things, the orthotics. Um, but I do, as podiatrists ourselves, would probably argue that podiatrists are a little bit too reliant on that. So, like for example, our clinic here, we've got a um, consulting uh, consultant physio uh, who I actually spoke to this morning. James, if you're out there, I was having a chat to you this morning. Um, and we've got um, Josh, the EP. So we, we just basically, with all the um, heel pain stuff, we try to get the best of every profession. Like we, we do a bit of the soft tissue stuff, but we're never going to be as good as... Um, a, a remedial massage therapist who do eight eight um, massages a day so and then um, with Josh our EP we're not at the same level as him okay and um, the dry needling we won't be as good as um, a person who does uh, 15 dry needling sessions a day so you know it's just a case of trying to pick the um, the best parts of a treatment program uh, for that specific heel pain injury so um, some things will work, some things won't. Um, but you can't really say that one profession is better than the other. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, guys, if this resonates with you, um, tag a friend, share it online and um, like it. That'd be nice. All right, we'll see you next week. See ya. Bye.